Hey everyone, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to show you how to actually share a document inside of a Zoom video conference. So Zoom's an online video conferencing app uh, that's free to anyone to use. You can have uh, free users can have meetings up to 100 users in size. The only restriction for free users is that meetings uh, of more than one person will automatically end after 40 minutes. So you might have to launch more than one if uh, if you want to keep it free. All right, so. Say you've got a Zoom meeting going. So I'm gonna start a new one right here by clicking on new meeting. And this will kick off the meeting itself. What you wanna to do to actually share a document with other users during a meeting is go over to chat. And you'll see here in the bottom right hand corner of the chat window, file. Click on that and you'll get a few options here. You can either share something directly from your, from your machine uh, or from a connected cloud uh, app service as well. So in this case, I'm gonna go into Google Drive, and it'll open up sort of the Zoom version of what Google Drive looks like when it's linked. So it looks a little different than normal. Um, let's say, let's go in here and find a project that I can open up for everybody. So I'm gonna click on that Zoom tutorial article I'm working on. And you'll see down here that files are gonna assign a share link. So please make sure you select the shared scope. Uh, in this case, it defaults to visible throughout the organization. Um, in this case, my email address that I used for this account was gmail.com. So it thinks that gmail.com might be my corporate or enterprise domain. Uh, if you are in an enterprise network and you've got your own domain, say like CBS, uh, Tech Republic's parent company, um, you might wanna make sure that your email domain is correct there so that the link that gets generated will be visible to all people using that domain for the meeting. Uh, if you're part of a small business that doesn't have that, or you're just using this as an ad hoc thing to meet with people while everyone's a bit sequestered due to the coronavirus outbreak, you wanna make sure you click visible for all, and that'll make a link that's visible to anyone who wants to view the document. Once that's selected, click on choose. Follow any on-screen prompts you get, like open this in the Zoom. And if you come back over here, you'll see up in the chat, there's that file right there. Anyone who clicks on this file uh, in the chat for the meeting will open the browser window and see the file itself. Uh, as well as anyone else who's in it. You know how a typical Google Drive file works. Um, anyone who wants to, if, you, if it's a local file you upload to the Zoom meeting, uh, they can download it from there. Basically, that's it. If you want to share something on screen, you can refer to the other tutorial video I did so that you can share something on screen while also giving everyone a copy if you follow both this step and the step uh, for screen sharing a document that I, I also did. That's it for this one. Be sure to stay tuned to Tech Republic for more tips and trick videos just like this one.